thanks for everyone for coming. This is uh, Looney Bin Podcast right here. And uh, I'm John. I'm Nick. I'm Teddy. I'm Preston. I'm Henry. And I'm Nate. And uh, every time we start off with the word of the day by Merriam Webster. And a uh, little point count for the people who are not following or maybe not. I have one point. Uh, Nick has three. Teddy has two, right? Well, I have one. So well, you have Henry's one. Also here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry and oh, Teddy true. are a team. One to one. Yeah, and then Nate also has one. I also I'm still point. Okay. Yep. So You're Nick, currently all that you need to know is that Nick is is in the lead. Mm-hmm. So the word of the freaking day is uh, gulosity. <laughs> Gulag. <laughs> hey, That's I'll... the first thing my mind went to. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Gulosity. Gulosity. All right, guys. Gulosity. I have to go with the you know the cliche what we're all thinking the gulag. We're in the ghoulies. Ghoulies. Gulosity. Mm-hmm. It's the theory of how to win the gulags every time. <laughs> You go in there, and you pull out your pistol. You don't use the pistol. You use the throwing knife, and you win every time. Mm-hmm. There's nothing to it. It's just easy. You got to get out of the fucking ghoulies. It's free. Yep. Right. Anyone I mean, else? I guess I was thinking something pretty similar, except rather than the theory of how to do it, I was thinking more like efficiency. Of how how often you win in the gulag, that sort of stuff. Mm, okay, I see where you're going with that. I vibe with that. Anyone else? <sighs> Gulosity. I have another one. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. One. You're done. I already had a chance. I'm not win. Nate, are you gonna take a shot? He's thinking. It's let formulating. The, let the man think yeah, a little yeah. bit. It's a, it's you not, formulate, then speak. Don't right. speak, then formulate. Because we've had a few of those answers yeah, <laughs> on this, I mean, yeah. in, this, in this round. That's yeah, so true. Ghoulosity. Right. Yeah, Ghoulosity. All right, I got mine. Hey, shut up. <laughs> you Not already did here. yours. That's true. <laughs> Not cheating here. All right, so ghoulosity. Um, so this is... Um, so the, the famous dish um, known as goulash, right? <laughs> um, right. Great, great... You know, great dish. Country of origin, please. Just for the ones that don't know. Turkey. Um, Thank you. <laughs> is it actually? <laughs> I, nah, no, it it's not. I don't, I don't, I don't there know. There it is. Anyway, um, goulash, wherever it came from, um, wonderful dish. You know, got it's got noodles. It's got your your red red meat sauce. Just uh, well, honestly, just just a great uh, great dinner meal. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Gulosity, though, is a uh, is a word kind of based off the dish. Um, that kind of means that it's kind it's the it's the flavor profile of goulash, right. but in <laughs> other foods or in other dishes. Mm. So the like goulosity of a dish is like, if it's not goulash, it's how how similar mm. it tastes okay. to I goulash. See. It's like it's a so. Scale. Right, yeah, right. How far the gulosity scale is within the dish. So, you know, it might be pertaining to the, the noodle style or the uh, flavor of the, of the sauce, um, anything like that. So, really, yeah, you can, you can judge any food on the gulosity scale in terms of its gulosity. Nate, so, can Nate? I get the rating of a gulosity on a hot dog? Yeah, so that's pretty far off, I'm not gonna lie. Can, can we clear, um, which clarify is a it's a thing. glizzy? It's, it's a glizzy, not Right, a right, the dog. gulosity scale of a glizzy. Um, <laughs> Thank is, you. It's, uh, it's not very high, I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's, it's a pretty low, low thing, and like I said, it's not, it's not a bad thing that it's not a very high scale. It's just a, it's just a different type of food, and it can't really be categorized in, uh, within the scale of gulosity. <laughs> So really nothing so has it's, high it's velocity yeah. except right. goulash is what you're saying. Right. It's really right. only one. Nate, Nate, all I'm getting from this is you're lucid right now. Yeah, I said Nathan. Awesome. Guys, that was one of the Nathan, best answers Nathan, I've ever Nathan, came Nathan, up with. Nathan, yeah. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. What a, cute, what a cute answer. It was really fun. We had fun. Yeah, we had, we did have fun. We did have fun. Uh, but here's the thing. I had fun. Here's the thing. It's actually about the tenderness of a foot. You oh, know, really? There's something about the dynamic of the callus. On the ball of the feet and the heel of the foot, I, yeah. you know, and and that's really what it's all about. You know, it's just a word. Nobody knows where it comes from, but it, it's really it's a big focus on the feet. So uh, that's all big, I got. Big big focus. All right. So 
A Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Goulosity. Goulosity. It's all right. The word of the day, January 20th, 2021. Goulosity. Goulosity. There it is. Damn that man, Mike. He's got what, what do you think, buddy? You know, my brain says I have no fucking clue. <laughs> but what does your heart say? Yeah. We all it follow our heart. <laughs> I get real of it, Please, Blaine, I beg you. <laughs> um, the gulosity of an object. I'm listening. Is it's temperament to be affected by water mm. that's it it's okay that's, okay that's i like the simplicity i really do can you it, can you wait no 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 give me that mic you're done you're right. i think yeah, that's I, all you need i think that's uh that's a great answer you know a little vague a little uh maybe hit some areas of that for sure the real what definition you're gonna pick john huh Right, give us a real re- yeah, yeah, real yeah. definition is uh, excessive appetite or greediness. Hmm. So the first thing, Nate, you did say something about, you know, appetite flavor profile. Mm. But with a man who has played Warzone, you understand the greediness ah. of the ghoulies. You understand hey, 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 what hey, you hey, need but to. Going by, but going by last week's, like, um, thought process, two people... Had similar answers, and last week you didn't go with the two people who had right. similar answers yeah, well, because last week of John wasn't the judge. Yeah, that. wait, yeah. oh yeah, sorry, who's right, the, so who's the, the king right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah literally, kingpin. Hey, Let the man speak, sorry. Nate. Hey, you do a little dance for me, a little gesture. I'm fine with that. Also, but uh, it doesn't I mean I like it. I would make it, the though. argument that a theory of the gulag versus efficiency in the gulag are two different things as well. Teddy, all I'm going to say is I'm I forgot your answer. But oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, no, no, I, I, I remember it. But uh, I, I will have to give this to Press because he knows how much the ghoulies mean. He knows exactly what you go in there. That's a sympathy it's point. That's a sympathy point. It's a redemption you know, in some what? nature. Go to the booth next week, Nate, That's a sympathy point. Yeah, whatever point. you want to call I want to see an instant replay. Get fucked. Oh, instant <laughs> replay? <laughs> Nate, don't you worry. I'll treat you right every single day of my life. John, but that's good. That's good. He only he didn't have any points yet. I so. know. I know. But guys, give me that one right here. <laughs> so Nate, yeah. So uh, we'll get, we'll hand yeah, it over. Yeah, that's up to the editor. editor. That's up to the editor, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see what really happens with that. <laughs> it but just there, it goes over there, here. Yeah, there yeah. might be an asterisk over that. You know, maybe he's like, yeah, I'm not gonna like, hey, hey, they use the trash cans. It's there. It's there. It was there. Ghoulies sometime yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just really feeling it, but all right. controlling my hand. So we have the long awaited uh Secret Santa gift exchange. So true. So to get true. to it's Christmas, sometime, Christmas sometime Christmas in, in January. This, yeah, Christmas in January. Sometime in this podcast. Um I don't know if we wanna That's John viewers. You also you also added a topic we needed to start off with. Uh, do we want I mean do we wanna do that or do we wanna get right into the gifts? Um what are we feeling? I don't know. I think uh, we can do the the topic and get into the guests. Sure, I'm ready for it. We, uh, yeah. I think that's a great tease. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like we have gifts. There are yeah. six right. gifts that we're yeah. opening. Stay. And who knows gifts. when they right, happen? Right. Yeah. Stay we, but uh, it could be anything. Right. Literally a car. Literally a live chicken. Who knows? Probably not right. a car, but uh, but maybe a live chicken. But yeah, but maybe a live chicken. <laughs> maybe the chicken. But maybe a car. So the topic that I found, or not the topic, but something that came across my eye. This is the the title of the article. Wolf choir, in quotes, echoes in the forest as pack joins together in breathtaking harmony. Okay. So, <laughs> is it not... Is there an audio clip? Or is there yes, like a video yes. It? It, there's, there's an yeah, audio clip. I think clip. that's the most important part. And I'll play it first. Yeah, play it into the mic. <laughs> Longest yeah boy ever. Oh my god. <laughs> that is honestly kind of frightening. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's the clip. Guys, yeah, the, does the article say perfect harmony because we can guys, do that it right says, now. No, okay. it says <laughs> the fir- no, no. The first two words that come to mind when I hear that, breathtaking harmony. Mm. It, it, it says, I, and I quote, and it says, it says, only takes one voice to start a chorus of howls. 
And apparently, you know, people have been lo loving the natural harmony of massive wo wolf chorus, the joy of nature, as one has said. It stands out to me like the chorus doesn't stop the whole time, like they, like they time when yeah, this is this is like they time when <laughs> they twister. take their breasts to make sure another wolf is howling. Mm. And I was gonna go it's off. Like, gee, what, what, what intrigued you about that article? Dude? What intrigued me was that listening to it there's some sort of dissonance but somehow it all works together but it's just one one guy one wolf is the one who initiates a call then everyone goes in and i'm wondering this is my my little uh question i guess is and what's your guys' take on it what's the reason for it obviously we know it's the alpha male as we watch alpha and omega the great show cartoon show never saw it and uh what what is the purpose of going in that course? Everyone joins in and sings a different uh, howls a different pitch per se. Yeah, I think it's I think it's merriment. Honestly, probably. I literally think they do it for no other reason but just to just like we're a pack and we're here right. and we're singing together and God damn the brotherhood is great. Yeah, it's just it's like it's like you know it's like with humans you know. It could also be like a territorial thing though. Like watch out, we're here, that too. The sure. article like to other wolves, not to like um, prey or anything, but right. Right to other wolves. Right. The, the article does talk about the the social glue that it brings the pack together. That it's a, a it's a sort of uh, like this is the pack. Like guys, you know what's a Disney movie they can make? The wolf they can't cry his howl. Oh my! And then he has God. to find his voice box throughout. He find his mojo throughout the movie. <laughs> wow, oh, that's so a great. Like that, right. that might have been. Some, uh, <laughs> all right, so that might have been the Lion King. <laughs> that might have been Lion King. But uh, anyone else have a take on it? Just to be honest, because well, like, it's weird. You said people are loving the perfect harmonies and all that kind of stuff. Natural harmonies, I, not perfect. Natural. Okay, natural. <laughs> yeah, no one said they were perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Don't get ahead of yourself. But like, at my house, there's just all the coyotes going around and all yeah. that sort of stuff, and they're just going nuts. And I just get so sick of it. Yeah. I, I like agree. I don't believe <laughs> that people are like. Wow, this is great. <laughs> a coyote, it just gets a coyote it gets I will, I will say a coyote, and the, unless you're from another area of the country where you say coyote, it's definitely, uh, it's a little yippy. You know what I mean? It's oh, a definitely yeah. a, yeah, yeah, and then they go nuts. Definitely and, different uh, from wolves. A wolf is more like just a prolong, as we heard, a uh, howl. So I definitely see the annoyance in that factor, though, because... <laughs> definitely wasn't a local. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah, oh, right. this is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear yeah. this every goddamn night. Well, oddly enough, this morning, uh, going through the GarageBand Toy Box Sound Collection, yep. and it's broken into three things. It's like random transportation and animals that's like the three <laughs> tiers of sounds. thank, thank you and garage band i was going through the sounds and one of them was um not wolf but fox fox really? cry and yelp oh, oh yeah and i know we got some in the art oh, right yeah. over there easily they easily. all night they'll go i mean every time you'd walk down that path mm -hmm. you'd hear them you're like what Scary, babies are crying spooky. in the woods right now yeah but, yeah but um, literally sounds like someone's being murdered yeah no mm -hmm. it's like small infants yeah Pete choked out, but I was going through all these animal calls, and uh, you know, I um, you think about you you hear it in shows and movies and songs or whatever you hear it in media, but like when you're walking down that path and you hear <laughs> foxes, oh my god, yeah, just spooky. It, spooky. it is definitely eerie. Yeah. I up, think uh, I think the most eerie thing i think the i just saw this on tiktok when i was uh taking a crap in the bathroom um but it was uh it you, was a you video. should be sponsored by tiktok buddy you should be sponsored by the toilet yeah, yeah. <laughs> right yeah what's the what's the toilet brands are always on the urinal it's always american standard uh, yeah. <laughs> buddy what's the i know crane one? what's the crane one I, I couldn't tell oh, you. Right. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get a sponsor from them. Let's from just them say eventually. that seat's always <laughs> gosh but, uh, darn warm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just just the toilet paper be the, go farther than that. That's just so be true. Be one of the bears. Be one um, of the bears. <laughs> like, one commercial, and then you're set for life. But yeah. one animal call that just sends chills down the spine is the Sasquatch call. 
Oh, that you know, so true. Nate. It's just there's it's, nothing it's like it. It's literally it's blood curdling. It's bone do you chilling. Do, do you, yeah, you, you maybe say, like, whales or something? <laughs> Sorry, bone chilling. Do you maybe there's a sense of nostalgia to that calling? Is that maybe why? You you know, maybe it's biased I mean, that you guys produced a maybe a little documentary about it. I mean, but we we did. It, it was know, because of the passion of the you know the content that we really wanted to do it. Right. Um, but I would like to propose the question. Um. Do you boys believe in Bigfoot? No. I know I know Boom. I know your answer, Preston. Boom. But to the other boys, I'd like to know your your opinion on it and why you have that opinion. Hey, you can't overtake this right now. The, I, you got to I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm expanding. Yeah. I'm hey, expanding. No, I understand, Unless, okay, we, sorry, sorry. We, we have to let Henry uh, answer the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to uh, talk about coyotes more. Sorry, sorry. Coyotes. They they might, kill your the Bigfoot yeah. question or the wolf question? The wolf question. <laughs> Like what the fuck are they doing out there? Is that the question? Yeah. Well, yeah. Like what? What's your what's your take on you know, why I don't they know. howling? I mean, if all of us were out in the woods and we just lived there all the time, what? I mean, what else would we do? Yeah. yeah we just I agree. scream at each other across the across the woods. <laughs> yeah. So true. Just, just a little be yelling bell. back and forth. Yeah. I agree with that. Huh. So I mean, uh, huh? So they're real. I don't know. <laughs> they must be. I so mean, they're real. They're always, <laughs> they, all, <laughs> they always seem like the bad guys in the Disney movie, sadly. But, uh, uh, that's uh, or the hy- hyenas. Yeah, the hyenas, hyenas are sick. Guys, but they're little cackle. You're, you ever seen about... You're, guys, all right, we're about, we're about to get in it. But <laughs> you, do you know about female hyenas and how they have a pseudo penis? Do they? Oh. Well, Interesting. Uh, it's amazing that you know this. <laughs> deep cut, did you, deep did cut. you find this on Instagram Discover? No, I'm just very into... I, for a long time, I wanted to be a zoologist. Just so very, very into animals. female and, hyenas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But um, uh, female hyenas have a pseudo penis. It, it's basically what, just a, a long. Their vagina, like their vaginal tract, is outside of their like. So and when they give birth, it rips. Basically, they bleed to death, or they or close to death. <laughs> That's amazing. Thanks. Guys, this is a what deep a cut. Point. This is a deep cut. cut. I'm but, um, John shut the fucking Sasquatch yeah. down. I, I did. I, but I commend I any female I it was close to the, Hey, it was close to the family, dog, yep. dog eats dog type of world. And I thought. So true. That's what I was and going Sasquatch off And Sasquatch isn't close to the family? Hey, Guys, he wasn't a Harold fucking, knew that. <laughs> Harold yeah, knew about the pseudo penis. Thank you, Harold. Thank you, Harold. Harold, you're literally saving my life right now. <laughs> but going back to the Sasquatch, if we're going to go on that track now. And then sure. Nate's question, well. just to reiterate, was that uh, do we believe in it? Maybe why? What's your reasoning? And uh, To be honest, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent. I said no right away. Right. Definitely a type of person where I almost have to see it yeah, to skeptical. believe it. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely very skeptical about it because there's uh, you watch those discovery shows, you yeah. watch those on where they you know they're trying to find something out there, and there's probably something out there that's not close to a bear. There's something you know w- really weird. Right. But man, if there really was a Sasquatch, I feel like our human race probably would have fo- found it by now. No, that is very true. And arguing on the other side of it, like think about how many species we're discovering every day, oh, yeah, everywhere, yeah. and how much stuff we don't, and how many places on the earth we have not explored. Right. Granted, I feel like North America has been very well yep. versed and trekked and I agree. mapped and scouted, and it's just it's it's a I, weird. A man can hope. That's all. Yeah. I right. Right. It's a, it's <laughs> a weird. Uh, it's a weird thing, I think, just because there's like you see the teriyaki Jack Links commercial and then, you know he goes nuts, <laughs> and that's your stereotypical view, <laughs> right? That that's a stereotypical view of uh, what a Sasquatch would be, right? Right. I just and think about like just like I don't how know. many sightings there have been, sightings, right, right. and just how many encounters and how many people have thought they've saw something, right? And like obviously they've seen something. But what what could have been though? Because it, you right, know, right, right, right. But just, I mean, there's not. It's not like there's a group of people going around like, "Hey, you guys, we're gonna head up Oregon tomorrow. See you there, Bigfoot right. faking group." Right. You know, it's right, like, they're, right. they're not traveling around but the country planning these things. Yeah, I also that. think that that like. When you're going into a forest and you're trying to find a Sasquatch, you're going to grab anything that you can think of to be like, 
Oh yeah, that was that was a big footprint. And honestly, a lot of the people that are being interviewed are tweakers. I will <laughs> oh, say that. Yeah. Like, like they look like they crawled out of a rock. Yeah. And they're like, <laughs> like they're literally on Naked like, Afraid, but forever. Season. And they live to tell this one story. <laughs> Nothing inciting has ever happened in their life besides right. this one story where they maybe saw Bigfoot because they stole right. their chickens or something like that right. on a fine summer day. <laughs> All right, literally. I'm just gonna jump in real quick. I'm very similar to John, where I, I really want to believe that there is such a thing. But I feel like we would have found it by now. Yep, right. I agree. I mean, like, the whole show, Finding Bigfoot, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. The thing there, that I... There's, like, nothing conclusive. Like, it's a super right. cool show, all that sort of stuff. But there's just... There's nothing... Yeah, it's always, it's always one... It's like Ghost Adventures, too, where it's like, oh, shit, we might have found something. Then yeah. it cuts back from commercial break. <laughs> Guys, it was nothing, but look at this. Right. Well, that <laughs> I think yep. that's exactly what I was going to bring up. The, the ghost hunting of the world... You play into the your eyes trick you when you're in the dark, I and mean, that's just the truth. Yeah. But yeah, when you're looking for what you want to see, you're gonna it's gonna click. All of a sudden, you're like, wait a minute, guys, that this rock just tur- turned over. You know, like right. it's like you add things that sometimes they're unexplainable. You know. Right. Especially when it comes to the paranormal, because that's a little different in in the sense of. I don't know how much of that is fake. I don't know how much is real. I mean, right. obviously, we're getting it through TV. We're getting it through, you know, stories of other people. But that's why I think we should ghost hunt, honestly. <laughs> but that's, like, another thing that, like, like there have been sightings in the straight-up daytime in mm. my county. And, yeah. like, it's, like, like I, I remember reading this one in, like, high school where they talked about one inc- walking across um, this, like, field while they were uh, not in their deer stand. They were taking their dog for a walk or something like that. And they said that they saw this, like, big thing walking across this field. And just, like, I don't know. It's like, how do you explain that? Yeah. No, I, I think, I think my biggest thing is that there have never been remains found. And maybe yeah. there yes. have been. But, like, that, that e- you know, the only explanation for that is that it's either not real because every animal dies yes. and decomposes very true and especially those bones would be very distinct yes you'd see a femur that's this long and you'd be like all right so that's not a human right right but like yeah or they are sophisticated enough to bury their dead but even if they buried it we'd probably find it oh easily. but still it'd be it'd be easier to set to like for the for us to not find something that's like buried because we're not digging up the countryside you know yeah, true. I see, I I see know, your I point. Don't. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah, for sure. And, like, I definitely think that these animals are real. They're definitely smarter and more elusive and more evolved than, like, any other ape or any other, like, what do you even call that? Yeah, um, on this planet. Bi- bi- or what bi- you call yeah, yeah, yeah. Bipedal bi- animal. Yeah, 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 yeah. for yeah. sure. And, like, I don't know. There's, <laughs> I guess I want to believe. I just want to. <laughs> right, right. All I know is they're staying real elusive. <laughs> it, it would be uh, a... <laughs> be very intriguing like you said about remains because that would be you think of evidence you think of fossils you think of you know dinosaurs and that would be great but there's hasn't been from my knowledge and i correct me if i'm wrong a distinctive item that we found that would say like oh this is an animal we've never seen and this could be related to a sasquatch right yeah and like um, even like, well, f- sometimes I think about like the footprints and the castings they make about right. like all these like footprints and stuff. Right. I'm like, I don't know. It's just like, is that just like, why would you, in my head? I'm just like, why would you fake it to like, but people do anything. I mean, yeah, they'll do that. anything for fame and anything for money and anything to make people get an audience or a uh, believers or whatever the fuck. But it's just like, God, I'm just such a believer. I'm just like, that's just heartbreaking. Why would you do that? Well, no. I mean, there are stories of, uh, there are stories of, I saw Elvis on Mars. You know, oh, I yeah. mean, like literally anything that's like, oh, it's so crazy that there are other people out there. Like, oh, I'd read it. You know, yeah, <laughs> tell literally. me about it. Where, where was Elvis? You know, what was he doing? That, that's the thing with finding Bigfoot, though, because you're watching this show and I've watched episodes of it and you know, they're not going to find it at the end. <laughs> right. But you still stay there for the whole <laughs> fucking like episode. Yeah. And it's like, you know, there's nothing going to happen with it. God. And so it's it's, it's always just it is harping, but like at the same time you always have this oh, like oh maybe they'll find something or you hear there's yeah. something in the it's woods. It's definitely just the the, <gasps> the yeah the anticipation, the yeah. suspense, yeah. Yeah. The, I, the thrill of the hunt. Yeah. I'm the same way with like those old ghost hunting TV shows and that kind of stuff. I remember one time we were at a hotel, and there there was like 
a doorknob that they went to. It was in like Alcatraz or something. Just years after it was closed, all that kind of stuff. They touch a doorknob and it's really cold. And then they're like, oh my gosh, the doorknob's really cold. They go back and they touch it. Oh my gosh, it's warm now. And then they then they wait a bit and it's like, oh my gosh, it's cold now. And when you're watching the show, it's like, holy shit, that could be something. Right. But like looking back, it's like, all right, well nobody touched the doorknob. And then he touched it, and it got warm. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. Stopped touching yeah. it. And then it got cold again because they didn't touch it. So, okay, so I'm also a big believe. believer in ghosts. I do believe in ghosts. Because, th- like, ghosts have a lot to do with energy and energy yep. fields and just, like, and just, like, you, we give off energy. And uh, you see those trends on TikTok where they're trying to control the smoke, and then they focus on it, and the smoke's going like this. And then once they focus on it, then the line of the smoke just goes like this. And it's just, like... It's just kind of crazy just how much power that we haven't dug into or even know we have or just, like, the power that our mind and our... But also, that's, like, another thing where it's, like, the power that your brain has to trick you and see things and, like, that we've already talked about. It's amazing. That's, that's, I mean, you talk about the two things of it. The one, when you have lack of your necessities, how you'll start hallucinating, you know, and then... That is actually kind of nuts. It is nuts. How your brain just makes up stuff when you're so low on whatever. Right, Right, exactly. Whatever's on empty right now, it's like, all right, so I'm going to shut down over here. (laughs) All right, right, so there's Barney in the corner. (laughs) That's so funny. (laughs) Yeah, but then also, you can trick your brain through anything from hardcore drugs to just even caffeine and coffee, you know? You can change your perception. Very easily. I don't know. I agree. There's something interesting about ghosts because there's the thrill of the it's us, but in the great beyond. Yeah. You know, and obviously death is the biggest question mark for all right, of us. Right. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I think part of that experience is if, if you're looking for them or not, you you're know, you're going to find something that will, yeah, will impact literally, you. Yeah. 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 yeah I yeah. agree. Yeah, and me and Nate had that experience. We went up to our friend Carrie's cabin, shooting this like fun ghost mockumentary. Like it was supposed to be like a like a like a Carrie would tell all these stories about how it right. was haunted up there and blah blah. Mm-hmm. blah. Me and Nate were like, okay, so let's actually like dig into this, talk to her parents, talk about what's happening up there, any experiences they've had, or blah blah blah. And while we were doing that, Nate had this weird experience where he actually thought he saw something. Yeah. So there, and this is this is really weird because, um. And, you know, it could be, I mean, there's a lot of ways to explain it. Like, were you uh, under the influence I was at any not. point? I was not. No, you were. You had one, you were one beer in. You tell okay. me this. Yes, yes, I you was. You were be- one beer in. I said, yeah, I did say it on the podcast. It's yes. in, it's on, it's recorded. Um, but. Not this podcast. Sorry, not you. this podcast. Um, but, so basically what was happening is we were shooting. I don't think it was the interview part. I think it was behind. It, it was, was like a. Yeah, it was B-roll. Yep. And I was shooting I was shooting the ceiling. I was shooting the ceiling where um Carrie's mom said that she saw a ghost hanging like from like, you yep. know, a new, it's like it hung itself. Yep. Right? Um, you know, you'll see this podcast this documentary eventually. Huh. Uh, I, I when the I editor finishes it. it. I believe it. Anyway. So I'm shooting this B-roll and I'm I'm really not spooked. Like seriously, when I when I no, it's cozy. I, the fire's on. Yeah, the, the, everybody's the blankets there. Are everybody around. was in the room. There no, was literally. no reason for me to be on edge. Exactly. Everyone was there. Everybody was talking. And, like we were having a good okay, time. Okay, so we were filming the interviews. I was filming on my camera the interviews, and you were filming your B roll because okay. I remember. Okay, you keep going. Yes. But I'll tell you what I remember. Um. So and I was like shooting the 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 uh, the ceiling right here. This like cross beam, and to my left is the staircase that comes down okay. from the second floor and it comes down and there's a railing and what i saw out of the corner of my eye was motion that's really all i saw to be like i i specifically i saw like stripes i saw i saw legs moving right i saw legs moving between the banisters on of the like railing Mm -hmm. and in my head immediately in that moment I was like, oh, that's so and so, whoever wasn't in the room at the time. Yeah. That's so and so coming down from upstairs from their room because they went to grab something. Mm-hmm. Right. And in my head, that's immediately what I thought. There was no thought of like spooked out, like, oh, like what was that? That was that. That's not where my mind was. I was right. completely like neutral. And then I look over there and there's no one there. And it's just weird to me that my like instinctual, like, 
my brain that's like you know we've like in like uh like evolution has trained us to like recognize those like pieces of motion and identify human features and stuff yes. like that and that's what got triggered in my brain i was like okay that's a human being walking down the stairs mm -hmm. and at that point i was like that's a human being and so i shut it off i noticed it i shut it off and i kept recording and i glanced over and there was no one there and then and then that's where i was like holy shit if that happened if i was so convinced that that was a human and i like saw it I don't know. There had to have been something right. there, and there it obviously wasn't a human. And then cut to <laughs> to me, my perspective. I'm shooting Carrie's uh, mom. I think I want to say maybe it was actually Carrie's. But Nate turns to me, and he like taps me on the shoulder, and I turn around I'm like, what? What? And he's like, he's like, I just saw something. I'm like, no, you. I literally was like, no, you didn't. You fucking did. You're fucking with yep, me. I'm like, I'm like, that. this is so perfect. You're a motherfucker. <laughs> You're fucking with me. I'm like, there's no way you saw something right now. He's like, no, I literally just saw something. He was like, I just saw, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'll tell you later. And I was like, what the hell? I was like, yeah. all right, so we're really in it right now. I was like, okay, this is an actual ghost documentary. Yeah. And I was just like, I just couldn't believe it because like, oh, guys, I wish something like that would happen to me. Mm -hmm. I wish that I could know and right. just have some little reassurance in my mind. Well, and now like that doesn't really, for me, it's not like it's like a, oh, this is confirmation course, that yeah. ghosts exist. But it definitely it's just is like something that happened that makes you wonder. Right. Interesting. Yeah. I uh, never had an experience of a ghost, for sure. Definitely have my doubts wearing the side that I don't believe in ghosts. But uh, that's just because nothing has uh, happened to me at that point. But also, I guess I do take from a different standpoint where it's just like, ah, I don't know. It, it, it just definitely doesn't seem uh, obviously not comprehensible. Just because it's something that we do not know. Right. But in essence, though, I don't know. I just have I have strong doubts that it is. But I'm always down to hear about it. Just to, in the sense because obviously I don't know anything. I've never been in that situation. Right. And that just throws it back to... There's just been so many, like... Ghosts way more than fucking Bigfoot. Of just like people think they see something, they, yeah, feel, they something. feel something. Someone yeah. talks to them in the night. They wake up. Their grandparents there, and they're like, "Oh, buddy, you're gonna do great in your test tomorrow." Thanks, Grandma. I'm going back to sleep now. Grandma, what? And then you know, yeah, and they're just like, weird. <laughs> "There's been it's... so many like movies have been made out of this, and blah blah blah." And like, of course, they're exaggerated, but just like, well, how do you explain like a plate being thrown across the room by nothing? And just like, dude, and I, these aren't just like wives' tales. Like these are documented exactly. cases. They happen. No, no, like, I, I, in, no like, I agree. The, it's not like this is no. happening in 1642. Right. No, this is happening in 1946 or some shit like no, that. No, yeah, this is is currently happening, exactly. and people people do say it, but I I just have my doubts for that for that case. Is is kind of like I don't know, like oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, like there is I I've seen definitely shows or stuff like where something has happened while they're there, as you're talking about plate being broken or something like against the window yeah, or like, like I definitely seen those shows, but I guess just how I analyze it, I'm just kind of like well, uh, maybe it's my whole pertaining on whatever, well, my take on religion or whatnot. But in the sense of that, like I think that does it take into play. Yeah, what does your um, take on religion say about ghosts? Uh, I, I, th I think... Is there no in-between? Is there just, uh, you make it to heaven or you don't? You make it to hell? Uh, yeah, there's definitely... An, uh, there, there's no... Uh, but there, I mean, with, there, with there, Christianity, there, there's spirits, though, right? Like, uh, we all have a there, spirit. There is an essence, but I guess, like, from my understanding... This is just my understanding, yes. obviously. Yes. That if there is a spirit that does come to you, that is only uh, God. Or Jesus, you know what I mean? It is the Holy Spirit which is working through each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. And so that that's just my faith. Mm -hmm. So that that's what probably pertains more to it that I don't believe in ghosts. Not that I don't say like, oh, you're a freaking liar. <laughs> right. It's just is like, I mean, to be honest, I wake up from a dream or something. Like, I'm not saying you were sleeping at all. Like, I'm not refuting you at all. I believe you 100%. But like I know that like I wake up from a dream from like a five minute ten minute nap and I'm like oh this this happened you know what I mean it's so lucid mm -hmm. and it's so it's like I don't know I have a tough time understanding that just because like I haven't 
physically seen it. I haven't touched it. I haven't like, that's just, mm. I guess. That, and also it's like, I don't see the point of them wandering around. I don't see the point right. of like, okay, so if that was a ghost, what was the point of them wandering around? Like, what was the, the essence of that? Like, I, I just don't get And that's it. like the thing though, is that like these forces are beyond our comprehension. And we aren't meant to understand them. And honestly, there's some things in life that you like aren't meant to understand. Oh, agreed. And are left to the wind, honestly. Henry's got something to say. Oh, That's I do. all I know. I do. I'm, I'm just thinking just theoretically about this ghost thing here. Right, right. So because of your ideas of ghosts, possibly you've shut your mental capability to see ghosts. Like, oh, I'm That's what my mom says all the time. Like, maybe we all have that <laughs> capability... And that's why it's never captured on like a on a film, is because it's not physically capable of being captured on film, but it's a mental, like we haven't quite unlocked the aspect of our brain in which we can see, yeah, the other no, plane yeah, that's happening that around point. us. I, I definitely see. But that I mean, point. like maybe that's Do why think... when it's like dark and you're like looking for it, that you see more things. Maybe all that is there. Maybe you just don't see it normally. And you're just not looking. Right. Like, you're not looking for it during you're not the, in the right day. headspace. When you're in the dark and you're looking for ghosts, well, but what, what, maybe what, what, your what, brain is activating and you can actually see the ghosts. Oh, right. Like but at the end of the day, though, I, I kid you not, whatever I want to see, I'm going to somehow find what I want to see. Hmm? In anything in my life, I will always try to find something I see, a good in it. So, for example, like I always try to find the good in it or whatnot. I always will try to find something of that nature. Or if mm -hmm. I'm trying to find, oh, this had it happen some reason or way, mm -hmm. I'm sitting there like, oh, of course, this tiny little tidbit that literally amounts to nothing, that's enough of a reason for me. So I think, again, none of this is concrete. Mm -hmm. But no, you're right, though. I very well could be closed off because of whatever I've already preemptively believed mm -hmm. or and already thoughts. But, Teddy, what were you going to say? Um, do we think, like, cameras and all that kind of stuff are able to see that like other just like plane and all that kind of stuff like have you guys seen the videos where yeah. the people are on snapchat and they're just using a face filter oh, yeah. and then it pops up not on their face <laughs> yeah. and then they're just like okay this is really fucking weird yeah. and then it opens the mouth yeah. and it does the dog yeah. lick and they're just like what the Oh yeah, well, in the case of Snapchat, I just think that's faulty programming or faulty right. facial recognition. Mm -hmm. right. But like, I definitely do think that cameras, you know, cameras, they don't have to talk to a brain. Mm -hmm. They don't have to go they through a, a process. Physically what's right. there. Yes, photons. they're programmed. Yes, mm -hmm. literal photons, literal, like it's science. Yeah, like it's light. Yeah, and so mm -hmm. I definitely think that's that true. there's more truth in a camera than there is in the human eye. I don't know. The human eye is so much more advanced than a camera. Like we can see. I don't know because so much more not shitty detail. Vision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, not, it, not, there's not a lot of other people, factors eyesight, to to, to the human eye, though. There's a lot of other variables where you and the camera it's just raw. This and that comes down to like how you perceive color yeah, and how I perceive. Right. No, color. exactly. And that's the that's the uh, um, the human interpretation, but also human error. And there's been a this. Last fall has been great talking about this kind of stuff about, you know, one tough theory that was brought up to me is that the philosopher Pat Churchland, I believe her name is, oh um, yeah, yeah, brought yeah. up a theory about eventually science will explain everything that's in our heads. <laughs> yeah. We will come down to the point where we understand, oh, I'm scared and this is why. Yep. Oh, I'm happy and this is why. Oh, I eat this, and then I think this. You know, you like think it's it'll a come more down. of a theory. It, so, it'll happen. I right. have no doubt. AI will never be smart enough to figure it out right. because it'll take us a hundred thousand years. But yeah, AI we won't will be alive for that. AI will crack our brain, and mm -hmm. we'll understand all of it. Bring our and, consciousness down to ones and zeros. Right. And what it does is it takes away this magic and mystery of the unknown. Mm -hmm. right. So you think about this moment, and there could literally be a point where you go back and you do your little brain scan of the day and they go oh at this moment when you saw something yeah that was actually when your eyelid does this little thing you know like and it could just tell you the science of it you yeah. know it could break it down where all of a sudden that mystery is like oh it's no more mm -hmm. but i would counter that that because we get to live this conscious experience of mystery and unknown and discovery and you know personal acceptance or denial 
of all these crazy things, then that's what makes it special. You know, I yes. want to go out and be like, what was that? Yeah. Literally, what did I just see because right. of that shaping moment, that mystery moment, that I'm smaller than everything that's around me kind of moment. You know, I don't want everything clear cut and defined. Yeah. I mean, and that's that just boils down to being human. That's what we're about. We're about making mistakes. We're about learning from them and not even like seeing something was a mistake. Just like right. yeah. being there in the moment and taking it in and just, it, just, right, right. Just experiencing that moment yes. of like, we might see something tonight. We might capture something tonight, but no matter what, we try, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that, yeah, part of it is the belief. You know, you might put some things together. The window opens, the door opens. You're like, oh, my God, that was it. <laughs> but maybe you just forgot to close it, you know? <laughs> you just don't remember. <laughs> but, no, I, I, I agree with you, Preston. That, that's part of it. You, you go out for the adventure of it. Mm -hmm. And maybe Brilliant. you see Bigfoot. Maybe you see a ghost, you know, whatever it is. I think the real mysteries, though, honestly, is in the ocean. I think yeah. some of the yep. stuff we're going to see there oh my God, is going to yeah. blow our mind. I agree. I agree. Already. I know. Like the... the, the Water's Mariana scary. Mariana Trench is so oh, literally... That's a, that's a great cut San there. Andreas Fault. That's it. There it is. <laughs> uh, no, I think the last one that I watched, last documentary, that was like, whoa, what is going on, is the deep sea, Arctic Ocean, mm -hmm. you know, near Antarctica or whatever, whatever the near the poles essentially mm -hmm. where there is life at the bottom of nothing right. they, yeah. ne so they never see pressure. sunlight ever their yeah. whole life cycle they never yep. see sunlight because it, it's not even close you're you're way off buddy but uh I mean, there's just so much to discover and we're not even talking about space yet right no see that's <laughs> see thanks Brother, uh, really I, i'm not even going to dive into but i do yeah. agree like Honestly, i am another podcast <laughs> I am very intrigued. Yeah, the mystery of Earth. Let's stick to there. About the bottom of the ocean or what else is out of space because that's something that we can like physically see. We can literally go into there and like we can uh, like take pictures and the captions of it. Mm -hmm. Do I wake up thinking that there's ghosts every day or Sasquatch? No, I don't think anyone <laughs> else of us do. do. But at hey, the end uh, of the day, I'm though. Speak for yourself, buddy. <laughs> At the end of the day, though, it's just as like, if I would rank them, I'd maybe believe Sasquatch more than ghosts. Holy, that's a deep What if dust? Sasquatch is a ghost <gasps> that travels oh the United States? Ghost right, Squatch. Henry. So I don't know what drugs you took today, but you're on something really good, and I would love to get on that after this podcast. But that uh, that's just where i'm at because i i always i'm a definitely a materialistic like i need to see yep. physical evidence for me to see uh, to understand it if not then obviously i'm fine being proven wrong which is interesting that you're such a christian with that I belief know, i know i said don't get into religion all right but we'll yeah. see out of it. you know yeah yeah well that's that's the essence of faith and we can literally dive into that because uh faith is but uh <laughs> faith squatch faith <laughs> There, I, I'm definitely in that sense, maybe because of you know, obviously the way maybe I've been brought up or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I, I've definitely grown to a point where I know what I want to believe and what I want to do, right? Yeah. And uh, ghosts, I, I don't know. Like I, I think that it, there's a definitely chance that you know things are out there and things happen and and whatnot. But I guess my. Uh, dickhead energy is just definitely saying uh i don't got time to fucking think about that shit let me just fucking buy it you know what i mean keep going on so it's like if i'm in the moment i do see something like that eh, i'm not gonna really worry about it and what you know whatnot mm -hmm. but i do see the the weird mystery of it because i do hold that sense of very high curiosity going into the deep uh wonders of the ocean because the ocean is literally makes up the entire world half you know majority a lot of it and there's so much stuff that we don't even know. There's so much stuff like, I mean, like literally the Bermuda Triangle. You always wonder why do people go down there? Why are they never, you know, found or, you know, something like that. And it's like, it's just very intriguing of, of what's at the bottom or what stories to be told at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Even from humans that have tried to discover it, never been found again. Yeah, I mean, I think we're about 50 years out of that, though. Grab a mic, now Nick. They, now, they, now, they do, now they do fly over that area. You know, right. I mean, that that's more of a I'm saying, myth and yeah, mythology. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, we got 12 ships. OK, well, how many ships have sunk in the Atlantic Ocean? You know, like, I mean, you could you could take the numbers and I'm not saying it's not weird in that spot. But there are some things 
that come down to the um, lack of science and information to yep. now we know more about it. Yeah, yep. agreed, agreed. And that's, I think that's a, like you're saying, we keep uh, discovering more and more each day, which is uh, the beauty of human nature. What what it really is, and if someone is very open to understanding everything that's being discovered, I think that you can grow a lot in that area. I think you can uh, literally under get a full understanding of what what are we on the, you know on this world, what what makes up of everything else, and gives you a different perspective at the end of the day. Yeah, and I think that's why I mean. All of us enjoy watching Planet Earth at the, you know, <laughs> like we love watching Planet Earth or, you know, uh, Antarctica. Like, honestly, Antarctica for me is a thing that, like, is is beyond me. Like, there's literally sheets of ice. It's literally a foreign And that land. they literally can't walk across certain points of it because it could crack and they could fall through, a, like, a, a crevice. It's like, uh, I would love to go over there and see what that's all about. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of nuts to think about, like you're saying, that we've been on this world for, you know, a great long time. There's always something new that we're discovering, which is scientifically proven. I think it's interesting how fragile we are as living creatures. Think about it. The one planet that we can live on, there are still places that are unhabitable to us. Oh, because yeah. Because of just, like, the way we are. Yeah. Just like what you're talking about with Antarctica and even like you can't live in the de- I mean, you can live in the desert. Sure. But not without like pr- like the know, right like, atmosphere, yeah, the, the right, you know, whatever the right tools, the right. Yeah. It's just like it's just kind of crazy just how lucky this coincidence is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that that's why I feel like a lot of people pertain to movies of some sort that we're going to another planet or whatnot, because we're always wondering if we're the only ones uh, potentially out there, you know, right. something or like, is there another place that could that you could live in? And then it gets in the whole sort of like literally space is another topic that we don't need to ever get into right now at this point. But that is, that is so very true that we are fragile because of the sense of security that we literally uphold to the most, whether we agree with it or not. Every one of us has that sense of security. And once that is broken, where you come from where do you have like there's there's literally pieces you're picking up from once that's broken and so the in a sense diving down to all of that of the you know sasquatch ghost and stuff that comes to a sense of security where people don't want to believe it or they don't want to you know be open to that and once they actually see something of that what do they have left because everything they thought that to be true or everything they thought they did believe is gone mm-hmm. and that, that yeah that is just a, is a gnarly aspect of it all is that uh Really, every single human is the same person, regardless of whatever personal preferences is, because all we want is that comfort and that security, and uh, regardless of who you are. True. So, going so kiss your brother and your sister goodnight. <laughs> Literally. Going backwards a little bit, how long do you guys think it'll be before like, people do start living in the middle of the desert, in Antarctica, that kind of stuff? People already live there. I, I don't think there's a need for that. I think we're going beyond that. And but I also think like you know, you think about like the drawings that are made in like the thirties about how where we'll be in the twenty tens or something like that and they have flying cars and blah 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 blah. <laughs> so I, I honestly don't think we're advancing fast enough. Like we're advancing, but it won't be in our lifetime. We'll be gone. Yes. And yeah. uh yeah. the fantasies that we like fantasize about won't be here. We're, honestly, I'm not betting on much. I'm thinking life's going to stay the same if we can fucking act against climate change. We're pretty much going to be where we are right now. Obviously, the iPhone's going to have a bigger, better retina display and blah, blah, For whatever. Battery life alone. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. That'll be huge. We'll be lasting a week as yeah. soon as you know it. It probably already wait. has. It's a probably already And better. yeah, we'll be back in space, but we're not going outside the solar system. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've sent the Hubble Telescope. Not for telescope. a long time. We've sent no. the Hubble Telescope barely past Pluto. Right. And, uh, Which is, it took forever. Yeah, we lost that shit in the literally anything. Yeah. The and, only thing that we're, we're absolutely, like, jet streaming at this point is anything that SpaceX does. Yeah. You know, they're the only ones that are like, ah, Funny. NASA shut down, but we're going to open them back up. You're yeah. like, wait a minute, you guys are going to open NASA back up? Yeah. Well, here we go. It's, it's literally, and that's people we need. First time. We need people to be like, oh fuck my it, I'm going to do it. Dude, yeah. it, well, Elon Musk that's has been, how it started. He's been the greatest. He's right. been the greatest, like, actually innovator that I've seen yep. in the last yep. 
five yep. years. Probably oh, my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. No, if I mean I whole probably my whole life. Yes. Literally longer. Because he's like, why not? Electric cars, why not? Why Automated not? cars, but, why not? Right. But, insane <laughs> batteries, insane solar power, insane, I mean, the, you know, bullet trains in America. Mm -hmm. You're like, why wasn't that, why, why are we <laughs> waiting on that? Why, what was the reason no, that we right. can't get a two hour train right. and you know what from it comes LA to, to New York? Is politics yep. and money. And money. Yep. Yeah. Money's a thing. Why did NASA go out? Do you, uh, Money. They didn't fund yeah, it. Yeah, literally had no funding, and what are they supposed to do? Because literally. it wasn't the priority, and it's because it's a government thing, and that's what we're talking. It's literally the politics, and the most like America, like the advancements in technology that were came from Americans. It was never a government-funded thing, and I mean, like, there, uh, yes, there, there was some there, guy in their there fucking is garage. There's government-funded sci like scientific discoveries that are happening every single day. Yes, but right. the biggest things that you see in our history books are yes independent people yeah. who are doing this because they have a drive to do it and like find it out okay. themselves right. and that's or, Elon in or like the, the 21st Cold century War. or it's the Cold War and we're trying to win the space race yeah literally I mean, <laughs> and it's a I war said, and it's with a the war red. No, and that's right. why and that, the, the competition brings it out but at the end of the day then I, I think about okay politics you know then you think of government is it the government's job to take hold of this discovery quote unquote no it really isn't they're, in my sense, it's they're here to take care of you know us and figure out our own crap. Yeah. And, and in a sense, and support it. I'm fine with supporting it, not money like monetarily wise, but as saying as like, like they're like, oh yeah, we support going this uh, you know whatever space force, you know whatever, you know what I don't I even care. Mm -hmm. But I'm just you know, get what I'm saying though, mm -hmm. is that like, the reason why they didn't fund it is because they had their own crap problems here on this like in our own country that you need to figure out I mean, and which yeah. is like i do understand that and i think but at the end of the day that is true there is pioneers quote unquote uh, into the sciences as elon musk is but i kid you not he would not be able to do anything if he didn't have money and the reason how did he get money PayPal. I, I don't yeah, know. Literally. He sold PayPal. Literally. For four literally. Billion. Yeah, he created PayPal. He literally, yeah. yeah. So that's the thing, though, is that the way that you can able to discover a lot of this stuff, personally, you can yeah. have that drive, but it all comes down to money. Oh, for sure. And no so, doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not, I don't think any of you guys refuted no, that, that. That's, that's, yeah, no, it's the but truth. The that's reality. the reality. Yeah, yeah it's, literally it's, the it truth. literally is the reality. Yeah. So when it comes down to politics, yeah, politics do take a play in uh, almost everything that we do. But at the end of the day, what shows Elon Musk to send up that SpaceX? He just is like, wow, I'm making big on Tesla right now. Might as well do something in this. It looks like a great, good like career buff. And like, once it becomes a, a, not even necessarily a monopoly, but once there's a, an increased amount of profit there, then all of a sudden you're going to see other countries, right. other governments, other programs that are come up. Cool in. They'll be like, all right, so we're going to Mars. And then who knows what we're going to do when we get there, you know? I mean, I, I saw the headline within this last week. He goes, 2024, we'll have somebody on Mars. And there are people like, no, there's no way. It's not going to happen. And but every time he's had a challenge, he said, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. He goes, I don't care he's what the experts say. He's literally a psycho. <laughs> no, he is. I imagine the drive on that guy. Yeah. What, what's is. his 9 he's to not. 5? Not even 12 to 12. Nothing. <laughs> literally. Who names their kid the name that he did? I can't think of it now. It's but Kyle. It's, but no. spelt in a weird way. You know, there's the something X. else. Like AX. Yeah, yeah. It, but it, is it pronounced Kyle, Kyle because 12. of like the equation it. I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just, just wild in that sense because he is... Uh, but, he, but again, I know it's because of the money and now he's doing all this thing. But again, it came down to him being super smart oh, to agreed. create a, pi a PayPal to work agreed. on agreed. a global scale. Agreed. Not you know? saying it's not unwarranted. Like digital unwarranted. currency at the yeah. time that he made PayPal was unheard of. Right. Agreed. You agreed. know? I mean, he came yeah. in, he figured it out, and all of a sudden people are like, oh, it's legit. I'm going to put... I mean, I guarantee there are hundreds of right. millions, probably billions of dollars that get run through it. Mm -hmm. you know? Right, right. I, um, I do agree to that point where I'm not saying that it's unwarranted. Yeah. I'm just saying that there is a lot yeah, we, of freaking smart people out there that have that potential to go to the next level, but they, they're stuck at that level because they don't have that, uh, that monetary status. Yeah. And that, that's the sad truth of the, the world, but that's how it's always been. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the weird thing now about um, the, the vaccine. The vaccine, you know, Clearly. where you look at all of these uh, companies that are, are making medicine or pharmaceutical or whatever it is, you know, that you get down to this point and all of a sudden it's like, OK, we're in the race again because we are on the line of hitting big. Mm -hmm. If we get this, we're in it and we're going to stay in it for the next two years. Right. You know, and that's part of that race of the sciences. Mm -hmm. But that's where it comes down more about the 
the the human experience the human condition of you know we deal with headaches why we have cancer why we mm -hmm. deal with you know whatever the mm -hmm. disease is and let's solve that so that we're comfortable here on earth and you know it, it seems weird to say actually no let's just go to mars yeah like well elon i bet if you put all your powers together you could figure well and he is anyways he's got the 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 nano chip in the brain yeah that's yeah. literally yeah. gonna solve all alzheimer's yeah. i mean like there's so many yeah. mental cognitive diseases he's gonna solve and that uh, i mean he's insane he's insane i can't believe well, all the things he has and his on. his new company was it Neuralink? yeah 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 that's yeah. What, yeah. That's yeah. What it's called yeah yes. yes it is where we're gonna be talking to each other without moving our lips telepathy baby yeah it is uh anyone i'm seeing right now he is a sasquatch <laughs> boat of an ass <laughs> hey no nate has a boat of an ass we all been knowing it but that is that is uh like nick was saying the drive or the the futuristic presence that he has in his head that there's always something better is something that is uh i would say rare within within the human uh human race because he's literally gone against everything and he's always seen something as a uh, oh there's something else out here let's build it up literally make us closer to the jetsons as we we keep thinking that is like the stereotypical what our future is like literally look at the cyber truck literally look at the tesla Li like right. look at some point i think it's like it's not about the money for him because he has no a bunch of fucking money. oh no. at this point he doesn't fucking care no it's, yeah. about, it's about like no guys I we're agree. not making an advance at this enough at the time of this recording richest man in the world yes he is so who, he hopefully you're just still doing great elon <laughs> no <laughs> yeah i i I hundred percent agree. He's not doing it for the money. No, no, yeah, yeah. At this point, he's not. No, I'm just, yeah, I'm just. Saying, I don't think like, even before. I would even rather when he created PayPal that he wasn't doing it for the money. He's just a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> no, like literally, that he's thinking a hundred percent time, uh, like going so fast ahead of his game. Where he's always thinking of the next project. Yeah, he's probably just like, why are we not, guys? Why are we not doing this right now? Literally, it's it, it, he's the same guy pioneer compared to. F freaking uh like the i can't even think the the rightly brothers you know trying to figure out the how Wright to fly brothers? right brothers thank you like lay how to I, fly i was uh, orville wright in the fourth grade a uh, wax figure play <laughs> <laughs> see that's the thing though like he's just another just think though he's going to be another guy in the history books that we talk about oh you know edison he created the light bulb you know uh -huh. stuff like that he is just another one of those guys and i think about that all the time though uh just at edison how he figured out what the materials technically all the materials were present at the time but figuring out how they all work together like that takes a special person to figure out oh wait i'm gonna create literally electricity out of, like understand it i'm gonna write it about it proven fact i'm gonna create light that we literally use every single day of this isn't that year. crazy that like mathematics can prove like a lot of just natural phenomenons literally yeah. it's a yeah, yeah it's beyond my pay grade. Like, yeah, that. Yeah, he's yeah, definitely literally. he's well, definitely a pioneer, and now he has just all the resources, and it's just like true. scary to think like he can really do whatever he wants at this point. Like, oh, agreed. He can agreed. do whatever he wants. He can invent whatever he wants. He's got all the money to do it, and it's just crazy to think about what he could be doing next. Good point on that because of the resources, everything is is all available to him, mm -hmm. and uh, but he rightly rightfully deserves it. Right. Yeah, that's the best part. He's not a. I don't. Yeah, I not, like he's him. not a con artist. Right, right. He's not people a guy, people yeah. believe in him. They yeah. believe in him, and you know he's out too. there for the good of the humanity. Yeah, humanity, I do too. honestly. Like, yeah. I mean, why like, not? Most of this stuff is for our benefit, and that's the crazy part. He has a. You know what he is? I'll tell you what he is. <laughs> I'm ready. Tell me. He's the alpha. <laughs> Full circle, baby. He's the alpha wolf. He's the one howling right now, and all the scientists are coming to him. Right. And they're singing in the song. I I for bet the, you for the good of humanity. You no, know, right? I bet you sitting there just is like I use in the talks. Maybe you know you hear a lot of things when you got that stuff in your pocket, you know. And uh, he was probably like, "Oh, NASA's going out of business. I'm not. I'm kind of bored right now, you know. Tesla's <laughs> doing great. Might as well do a little space something. I don't know what's a good space Y, SpaceX, yeah. whatever it is. <laughs> Let's just throw it in there, see what happens. Space and then, y. but the the sex the success the rate, sex uh, yeah six. Yeah, sex, I bet it's great too. But the success Him and Grimes. rate of his like launches are historically nuts yep. because of how many times he puts one out there and it, it is accomplished, what he does, and then he put, do, does it again. 
And how many times did the, the U.S. try to do that? Or the government funded NASA try to do that? And a, a lot of failed things have happened. It is, it is a, very true. But as I say this, we probably should get to Secret Santa. Yeah. And with that, boys, you know, the wolves are howling. Yeah. I'm howl, howling. And you know what I'm howling for? And howling. Christmas gifts. And that's what we're going to get into right now. So welcome to... Who invited this guy? I Secret wondering. Santa, not Secret Santa. No longer Secret Santa because everybody figured it out. Welcome over to the Santa Christmas. Santa. Santa Santa. Welcome oh. to Santa. And, uh, Jan welcome, Santa. And uh, January, I mean Christmas in January. All right. Christmas so, uh, in July. Am I passing out the gifts? Sure. <laughs> everybody knows. Who, I mean, what? everybody knows. Every, eh, no but, uh, yeah, right. yeah, you I pass mean, out the gift. Wait, no, no. What are we doing? Okay, so how are we doing this? So, so I, I'm like, taking out the gift and I'm saying, what could it be? <laughs> and, then I, and then we go, who do you think it's for? No, you no. Just, wait, wait, why doesn't each person no. grab their gift? Uh, yeah. And, and hand then it to we, the person. And hand it to the person. And then the, no. Yes, yes. It's why? No, it's I, no, I like that. It's no, no longer I mystery. don't know. I don't know the gifts. I only, like, I don't. It, I it's, don't know we can guess on what they think we got them? Yeah. No, yeah, no. I, I just say give it, and I say the reason why. I enjoy the yeah. thing. All right, all right. That's great. That's and with great. that, I'll go first. Right. Well, why don't we all just go gra grab all right. our gifts? And with that, if you don't have your gift here, you're a moron. So, Nate, go grab your gift. <laughs> yeah, Nate. I mean, it's in the room. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go get it, buddy. No, you're good. Hey, yeah, no, you're take good, a buddy. crap as you're all at yeah, it, too, yeah, yeah. buddy. No, right. no, we got Warm time. the seat go. up for me, buddy. Let's we got nothing go. but time. I'm ready. All right, go we'll, get your gift. We'll cut Who's it in the YouTube first? video. So. I'm going first. I already said that. All right, go first. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Can I all say right. all right again? All, all right. right. All right. Guys, guys, coming all the way from China. We waited one month for these. There's nothing better handmade than a dh <laughs> gate than a dh by gate a, we met the by people. a seven-year-old child and i would love to give these chinese made <laughs> blank blank to teddy oh. <laughs> teddy yeah. there you go open it up enjoy yeah. it's all for you buddy I, a little a little pre preface here. DH Gate is uh, definitely a third party. <laughs> third no, party no, 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 no. Very no, primo. Name brand up here. All right, so it's it actually is though. It looks name brand. Oh my god. Yep. All right. Yeah, so you're Teddy's in for a treat. Teddy. I got a Timberwolf jersey. Uh, All right, but who is it? Who is it? Yeah. D'Angelo Russell. Teddy, open it. Open hey. it. Teddy, open Teddy's it. Teddy's a big Jersey guy, a big camera. NBA fan. He loves it. Yeah. We all communicate I, with I him. I see with Teddy walking NBA. around with his Carl Anthony Towns hoodie. I said, Teddy, I can do you one better yeah. for 15 bucks. He says, D oh, Russell City God. Edition. Let's yep. freaking go. Don't even worry about that. Teddy, that's on the house, Teddy. Yeah, that's on the house. Next one, though, <laughs> might not be on the house. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't opened it yet. What the fuck? Teddy, I know, Teddy, I know you talk about him. I know you love him. Teddy, I know you I, wish he was a wolf. Teddy, I low-key hate Ben Simmons oh with a God. fucking passion. <laughs> but, uh, hey, he can't shoot that three, but, man, he really won your heart. All right, so I can't open this thing. But just know that it's in there, and it's yeah, for hey. you, buddy. Hey. Wow. Hey, buddy, oh watch out. Oh, there it is. No, there we're is. sponsored by Buck USA here. The, uh, Buck let, USA. Let you know. Sounded like you said Buck Fuck here. USA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, Buck USA. All right, uh, message to... What's DHK? His name? Uh, whatever his Bede? name, Gerson, with the Timberwolves. Yeah, yeah. Trade for Ben Simmons. He'd be great on the team. No. Mm -hmm. Timberwolves have a mentality that they need to fix. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> Just for you, Teddy. Show it to the camera, Teddy. What? There you go. Show it to the camera. There it is. There it is. Teddy, all in. Yeah, all right, hug him. We do hugs in this yeah, Christmas. Right. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, we hug. There you go, yeah. Teddy. Merry, I don't Merry Christmas that. in January. That simp wow. stuff. All right, so Teddy. Teddy will go next. Yep. It's a yep. Christmas yeah. miracle. Beautiful. Great. All right, Ted, you're up. Yes. Ten up, ten down. All right. Well, this one's for John. Just got this box today. I, oh my God! I what could it be? It was, it was the shoe box. It was the, it was the box yes. my shoes came in. Yes. But everything do else. Do I in dare, there. Teddy? Do I dare shake it? I don't think so. John, I think you go ahead you and you open it. If you shake it, you'll know everything you need to know. All right, all right. So uh, we already know. We already, I don't really know. I'm John's so a excited. little giddy. John's a little giddy. I'm a little giddy. Open it up. <laughs> Look at the smile on his face. He doesn't even know. It's Christmas morning. It's Christmas oh my God. in the Listel household. It's Oh God! It's, it's set seven seven five. Ah. <laughs> it's set Holy seven seven five. Shit, let's go. <laughs> He oh, knows it the by number. socks, Teddy. How did you know? So we got little socks. You know, <laughs> they just, they've been gifted from absolutely. Teddy's wardrobe. <laughs> Teddy's like, eh. Teddy, yeah, looks Star Wars socks. Goes, we got uh, Stormtrooper. We got Mandalorian. Oh, nice. 
We got a little bush cards, a little bush light. <laughs> bush light. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Teddy. They're slanted. Bush number one. That's Thank slanted you. to that's, the right. That's dude. really slanted funny. He right. may have fucked up the Middle East, but he didn't fuck up my heart. Hey, let's go. his son came in and he tried to fix her out. Eh? Yep. What was the line he said? We're uh, going to make him pay? He said, watch me. He said, uh, fool take me this one driver. time, shame on Hi, you. Teddy. Fool me twice, can't get fooled again. Seven, great five, set. Two, that's nine, a great nine, set. Five, two, six, nine. What a great set. Six, I got a little oh teaser from Nick this uh, this mm. spring when we had it because Nick and I usually buy sets at the same time. We try to get a little different one yep. than we did, and he he bought this set and I bought a Land Speeder Tatooine yeah. Yeah, at that time. And uh, it's a great set. I've always wanted it. Thank you, Teddy. It's a great desk piece. Teddy the many things that you get with it oh. are beyond value, <laughs> oh, and uh, you can interact with it. So thank you, Teddy. You I said, really appreciate it. That's John a great set. set. I said I have no and, idea. And <laughs> and kiss. All right, Teddy, so smooch. All right, All right. Handshake, handshake. Handshake. I appreciate the. Yeah, All right, so my. So to clear up the controversy against my name, I never wore those socks. <laughs> they were, Teddy, they were you... from a, like, uh, it was like a advent calendar sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. family during the holidays for we sure. would just play board games and all that kind of stuff <laughs> and, you if, you, and if you won a game then you got to open up a open up a thing of socks oh that's very nice nice the, and i got at least three hey, <laughs> nice. hey i i will say this i still have your nike socks that you deserve back i still have those <laughs> no, no, gross no, no. just throw it into the gift <laughs> what the, all right what the, john uh, present your gift to who you have um here we Henry, go you want to grab that bag for me right underneath the, the pedestal i'll grab the bag so 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 this so this bag this is for you henry <laughs> uh it was uh <laughs> it Definitely was not. I don't know. It was a middle middle cost item. I, I we don't we haven't set a price range, but it's only one item. So I'll just tell you that because I didn't only got you one item, but of uh, bookmark? no, it's not from the bookmark. I just put it in here because I got it actually uh, yesterday when it finally came in. But we'll we'll just let you open it. But the thing is, is the sad thing is, is I hopefully you have something that will really add to it. But uh, here you go. God, what is this? So open it up. Ooh. And then, uh, <laughs> That's pretty hot. So, so then pick it up, and then you sl So what you do with it is that you slide it that way, and it's supposed to ignite. I don't have any butane right now. But the best part is about it, though, is that you hit this guy on the side, and it'll make the flame green. Whoa, that's a black cool. Light. Yeah, so it's a... Uh, that's pretty nuts. Right. I don't have any gas for jack? it right now. No. <laughs> but that, that was player. my gift. I usually like to get Henry uh, uh, lighters. I got him one in Malaysia. And uh, I, had to, I had to get him uh, another one again because uh, oh, he's usually by my side. So I always need a lighter, it seems like. <laughs> and uh, had to supply him with the right stuff. Yeah, always starting campfires. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. Big campers. Yep. Huh. All right. Well, here, here it is, Nate. That's good. There's also one one object. Hopefully it'll improve. Improve. Don't worry. He wrapped, <laughs> Dang it. he wrapped it's it in my room. Set. He wrapped it in my room. It's rooms. a big pen. It's a bomb. Oh, how do you Nate, you'd, be surprised, buddy. you'd be surprised, buddy. You'd be surprised. Guys, that is actually amazing. This guy has been mooching off us for how long? And he finally got it out. Yeah, it's about time he paid up, buddy. So, so hopefully that'll last you for a little while, and it will improve on your current setup. Holy crap! <laughs> Guys, we're really in it now. Is it 128? 128? Oh yeah. yeah. That's a... Yeah, this is... Game, yeah, well... Uh, this could, <laughs> guys, this could record 4K for a while. This oh is a... God, we got an big. SD card ah. right here. That's big! Let's go. 100, big. 128 gigs. Beautiful. Sony branded. <laughs> Wow, that's that's great. Who's Sony? Uh, Amazing. Here, yeah, we're a Sony family now, yeah, guys. Yeah. Guys, we're a Sony family now. Just so you know, we're we committed. really are. We yeah, really are. Sony Proud sponsors. I mean, after the Malaysia trip, they really shoved the Sony camera in our face. So uh, we <laughs> almost had to say, "Hey, we love the taste of it." <laughs> All right, Nate. By process of elimination. That's me. All right, let me just it's get me up. Or you. Ah, Who's right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I know too. So, so Nate really has to grab his gift. 
Oh, off stage. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, you know this one. This one is uh, for my good friend Nicholas right here. Oh, stop it! Stop yeah, it! Stop guys. it! Guys. Ah, Preston, you all this, but Nick, literally will, change your gladly. pants right now, buddy. Oh, oh, what is it? I, is that is it is the that Benson the Dusty Times? Weekly? Is that the Benson Weekly? Times? You guys didn't even do the word search. Thank you. That's the only one I can do. All right. Uh... Yep. Oh, see you later. Baby. See I, you later. Oh see you later, buddy. All I'll see you. See is, guys, <laughs> guys, someone give this guy a mic. Know, That's all I know. I you know. know. You know what they do. I literally know. Oh, the power God. that they hold. Oh my. <laughs> Put it on, buddy. Put it on. <laughs> Something for me. Oh, my God, mate. You, I don't have to lie for years now. Yeah, that one's a little more special. <laughs> hey, don't. <laughs> guys, Nick was always God looking for the sticky notes. <laughs> I, uh, guys, you're going to see it all the time now. I'm going to wear it all <laughs> Can't stop laughing. Oh, Nate, you are a darling. <laughs> Get a load of that guy. Film society, nice hold, little hold clapper. Your hold your hand behind Let me it. Take you know, the as they mask do the off. Show. Oh. So, uh, so th there's a there's a series of film society pins, and I don't know how many there actually are. There's like like eight or ten of them, but they're all like different like pins relating to like film society, I guess. But oh, it's beautiful, Nate. So. Thank you. That's to start your collection right there. I know. Someone else got inaugurated today, and uh, might as well you be too. I know. I'll put it right there. Hey, nice little there. flex on Thursday for our new oh, yeah, game. Yeah. I might have to put it on. Now. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, I'll, I'll put on one of those. Please do. I, I, I am. Actually, you don't even get a choice. I'll put <laughs> yeah. it on. No, it, Let's go. We're, we're showing up big dogs. Nate, Nate, Nate. Come here, buddy. Beautiful. Ugh. Give him a smooch on the way. A little third hand. On the way. On the way. Wonderful. Oh, those sticky notes, though. <laughs> I know. I might have to leave here some for you boys. Just I, I think I need I them. Steal yours I need at this them. Point. I really do. I know, guys. What a mystery. Preston knew. It? He fucking knew. Guys, is guys, it I didn't mean to swear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I swore on the pocket. I really apologize. You swore? Don't worry, I really you apologize. apologize for that. I know. We literally didn't that. hear you. Don't even worry about it. All right, guys. I am... You need a knife? The anticipation is killing me. Do you need a buck you knife say? Somebody real go quick. That for knife, knife for you? Wonky slush? Wonky slush. What is it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a, a deep guys, cut. Guys, a deep guys, cut. Guys, it we, was a fun game during the we, summer, and it'll be a better about, game during the second semester. We yep. talked about it. Let's My Minecraft dungeons, dungeons, one of the greatest uh, RPG dungeon crawlers <laughs> to come out of ever 2019. <laughs> I swear to God. It is, I, I, I am very wait. proud that you bought that. That's amazing. No, it's not. I think it's... It's Switch only. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes no. it even better because our uh, Switch portfolio keeps getting bigger and bigger as we go. So true. And we didn't even what is look that? at the next part of the gift, oh. which is the art of <gasps> Princess Mario. Oh my okay. god. Holy is this a picture book? I said give it a little oh look. Give god. it a little look. One spec, one spec. Oh. oh my god, guys. Concept art. Guys, we got storyboards. What the hell? Oh my god. Guys, from a fellow Studio Ghibli fan to another. Thank you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, amazing. That is awesome. I'm, I, uh... It's our both conversations. Dude. Both conversations about both those items. It was like, guys, I have so much fun with this, and guys, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. That's yeah. sweet. Like, yeah. I'd be, I would gladly tap into that. Mm -hmm. Oh, might as well. We got a poster for it. Bro, it. A big kiss. <laughs> Wow. We're breaking barriers here on Lucy. I know, guys. I can't. And uh, that's what we like to that do, though. Amazing. And so, if anyone of you guys that want to tap list. into this breakaway, <laughs> hey, breakthrough, yeah. some would say, please join. At this point, guys, all I know is wear your mask. <laughs> <laughs> mask I love that it's upside down, too. <laughs> mask. That's the best way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even sure. notice. I think it's funny that way because it looks like he doesn't have a nose. <laughs> Yeah, Nick, your nose is never really in your mask anyway. No, so that doesn't matter. right. Oh, oh no, you're no, right. That's yeah, yeah. The, it was the, right. The bending piece is right here. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, guys, you're not supposed to wear it on your nose. I didn't think so. <laughs> That's what Ron Gardenhauer told me, but Nick, I didn't know what Gardenhauer told me. You should wear that. You should wear that to Thursday. Oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Hey guys, I need you to go over here. Hey guys, our producer's over there. Just go yeah, talk yeah. to him. Blaine, he's like, Blaine, hmm. Blaine has yeah, buddy. Uh, since you don't know. I hope he's out. All right, and Nick. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. oh it's you. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait. We gotta. Hey, if anyone of you hasn't followed Looney Bin Productions or Looney Bin Creative, please give us a follow on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Looney Bin Creative is also on YouTube right now, and we dropped our first uh, short film. You can watch the previous podcast on there as well, but the short film is around two minutes, three minutes long, and uh, you can see a little tidbit on Looney Bin Creative. We in really enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. So it would appreciate us if you gave it the view and hit us with the like and also give us a follow because uh, it gives us a little more out there and uh, if you ever want anything to for us to do or give us a little insight or something like that, we'd pretty much enjoy that as much as we always do. Mm -hmm. um, with that though, some with the outro please. Nate. Yeah, um, thanks to all you um, viewers in chat. Twitch has been popping off tonight, so that's that's awesome to see. You know, it's it's great. You know, it's fun doing the podcast. We feed you know, off by of ourselves, it. but you know, seeing the interaction in chat, knowing that people are listening live, it's just it's even better. Um, so, just want to thank you again for listening to another episode of uh, the Looney Bin Podcast. Um, yeah, like John said, we have Instagram, we have YouTube. Um, yeah, all past episodes are, are on Looney Bin Creative at, um, what does on it YouTube. Hurt? What does it hurt? So, what's one more follower? You know, what, what's one more follower? Uh, and we'll follow? see you next and week. We'll see Thanks you for watching. See ya.